An average adult has about 5.5 liters of blood in his body. Our blood transports oxygen, nutrients, hormones and many other important components. All this blood flows from our heart to the whole body and then comes back to the heart. This flow of blood in our body takes place under a system which we call, circulatory system. As long as you live, your circulatory system works continuously. Today in this video we will see what this system is and how it works. The human circulatory system consists of three components. 1. Blood 2. Blood vessels 3. Heart Our blood contains about 55% plasma and the remaining 45% blood cells such as red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. While plasma is the liquid portion of our blood which is yellow in color while the red color of blood is due to the hemoglobin present in its red blood cells, the main function of blood is to transport oxygen, nutrients to every part of our body. Most of the body's cells cannot take oxygen from the environment, so our blood is responsible for delivering oxygen to every part of the body. Our blood vessels work to supply this blood throughout the body, the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to the body are called arteries, while those blood vessels that carry blood from the whole body back to the heart they are called veins. Our arteries are further divided into branches called arterioles and these further divide to form capillaries. The wall of capillaries is as thick as a cell and this is the point from where gaseous exchange takes place between blood and tissues means cells takes oxygen from the blood and adds carbon dioxide to the blood. The capillaries are so small that our red blood cells have to pass through them in rows and as they pass, these cells bend and form a bullet shape. Our heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood into the blood vessels by repeated contractions and relaxations. Like birds and other mammals, the human heart is made up of chambers. The upper chambers of heart that have thin walls are called atria, while the thick walled chambers at the bottom are called ventricles. Left ventricle of our heart is largest and strong chamber. Our heart pumps deoxygenated blood to our lungs. The blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart are called arteries, and blood travels through pulmonary artery to the lungs. Our lungs adds oxygen from the air to the blood, this blood is called oxygenated blood. This oxygenated blood is sent back to the heart. The blood vessels that carry blood to the heart are called veins. Oxygenated blood from the lungs is brought back to the heart through the pulmonary vein. The whole circulation in which deoxygenated blood is carried to the lungs and then oxygenated blood is brought back to the heart is called pulmonary circulation. Our heart pumps this oxygenated blood throughout the body and this blood reaches everywhere in our body with the help of different arteries, such as the carotid artery supplies blood to our brain while the heart receives blood through coronary artery and kidneys through renal arteries. When this blood gives oxygen to the cells of our body, then this blood becomes deoxygenated again and then this deoxygenated blood from the whole body is brought back to the heart through the blood vessels known as veins. Pulmonary veins from the lungs carry oxygenated blood to the left atrium of the heart. In addition, two larger veins, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava receive deoxygenated blood from the whole body and put it in the right atrium of the heart. This circulation in which oxygenated blood from the heart circulates throughout our body and then deoxygenated blood is brought back to the heart is called systemic circulation.